So some people are excited to head back into the office. Others maybe not so pumped to leave their house. But who said you can't have both? Joining us this morning to discuss the hybrid workplace is media and tech consultant Mohit Rajans. Nice to see you this morning. Hi, Lindsay. All right, we're here where some people are heading back in, right? Some people are a little apprehensive. Some people want this hybrid structure. So speaking of structure, for people who have this hybrid setup, how has it been structured? Well, it definitely is a luxury. We should start off with that because not all scenarios really can can be in a, you can't be in a scenario in every different work environment to be, have a hybrid structure. But for a lot of people headed back to work right now, they're essentially taking the idea of being able to work from home and actually have office time as well. So we've seen this massive rapid digital acceleration happening right now, but unfortunately, it's not one a one-stop solution. It's different scenarios for different people. And so, Lindsay, what we're seeing as a result is we're building in real time this efficiency equation, this idea of how are we going to be able to prove out that we're really competent enough to be able to handle this hybrid work situation. It's efficient for all different types of people, and it's able to accommodate any type of scenario that mm. is put in front of them. And I love how you say that working in real time, because this is literally like a work in progress at, as we speak. So what are companies doing in terms of technology to keep people working successfully with this model? Well, Lindsay, to be honest with you, companies have to be doing more. I think the idea of skilling up has sort of been lost in this. And the you know, we they can give us all the tools that we need, but if you don't know how to use them efficiently, we're really uh, we're really not tackling the problem right at at the core. A lot of surveys were done by companies to find out what the ideal scenario would be. And it was amazing to, re to research and understand that some people are just denied basic high-speed internet access and able to not efficiently do their work accordingly. So what we have to do is focus on how to skill up our workforce, how to make sure all people feel like they've got the flexibility that's equal. And then there's that idea of owning your hours, Lindsay. I think that many of us feel anxiety associated with not getting back to people based on an email that's sent to us mm -hmm. Off hours or the idea that, well, is there a conversation happening in a Slack group or a chat group that you weren't necessarily contributing to for? So I think companies have to make those rules and make it clear about how they're being assessed in the process. When you talk about owning and ownership, what about the idea of digital surveillance and ownership of data? How does yeah. that factor into all of this? Well, that's where we need to really discuss knowledge management. You know, companies aren't putting these tools in place just because they want to make life easier for you. They also need to understand a little bit about what's making the company successful. So when it comes down to it, you need to read a little bit about what your company is surveying you on. There's a lot of situations right now where your Slack group or your chat groups are actually being monitored and mined for information about how efficiency works. Remember, technology tools aren't just to make it easier for us. It's also because companies want to know how to flourish. And there's a double-edged sword. You will be surveyed. You will be monitored. In many cases, your company owns the gadgets and the technology that you're working on. And looking at this hybrid model, Mohit, is this sustainable? I mean, where does the hybrid model go from where we're at right now? Well, I mean, the exciting Mohit says, I can't <laughs> wait for this wonderful VR, AR, augmented reality world to start beings where we don't have to f uh, physically commute and stay in traffic and stuff. But the reality, Mohit says, we've got a lot of work to do when it comes down to getting everybody at least on an accessible page. You know, we're, we got to figure out how we're being incentivized in this new work scenario, how different people can accelerate their skills into newer jobs. And also, we still have a lot to do when it comes to diversity, accessibility, and languages, too, in the workplace. So from a communication standpoint, efficiency standpoint, I do feel like I'm optimistic about mm -hmm. where we're going. Mm -hmm. But I do feel, I, I feel like we got to get some people a little more savvy and being able to utilize these tools properly. Well, listen, Mohit, it's always good to chat with you. You're at home right now. I'm excited for when you have to leave your house and come in here and actually sit here physically. We can have a real life conversation. It'll be great. Thanks. I'd appreciate that. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.